Hi there, this is Andrew from Kwood Publishing with a review of our newest book, Monsters of the Wilderness, Oswald's Curse. So this book will be available at our website as a PDF or printed books at drive Through RPG, uh, also a PDF there as well. And this is our biggest book yet, the fourth book in the monster series. And I'm gonna give a review of most of this book. So on the cover here, we have a legendary wizard named Oswald Mir. And um, you can use this book in a few ways. You can use it as um, a monster book with monsters from the different regions, or you can use uh, some of the narrative, some of the story that we built in. Like our Monsters of the City book, our team includes the artist Travis Hansen, who does all the art, Gordon McAlpin, who does the um, graphic design, and this time the assistant editor was Sarah Bagshaw. So here's our table of contents, an overview of the wilderness, some game master advice about adventuring in that area. And here's Oswald again. So the curse the book talks about came about because this wizard started to um, experiment with magic and um, create portals around the world of Mir. So there is a tie into our setting, the world of Mir in this book as well, which is um, named after this famous wizard. Another part of the book you could use are, is the wizard council called the Great Eight that expelled Oswald for his, um, for his actions. And all those wizards are included in this book as well. The first monster we find is the Cerebrax. So this is the creature that came through a portal that started um, everything to uh, go haywire basically. And um, that creature and others like it came through the portals. We have a list of adventure hooks here. And here's our first region, the ocean region. So each region has a page uh, for game masters, which includes encounters, um, locations, events, the kind of creatures you would find there, adventuring equipment that players could use that would be useful. And in this case, the weather around the ocean. Each region begins with a Titan a monstrosity. In this case, this is a Wagon, which is a CR-26 creature. Then we have the first of the wizards, Kairos, who's uh, an Aquarian wizard. And the Aquarian race is one of the new races that we've included in the book. And the ocean region here continues with an Aquarian queen, a kind of octopus type creature, an eel, the deep one, which actually can affect creatures miles and miles away, far from the ocean. And then we have the demon crab and the fathomer. Here we have a ghost whale and a giant shark zombie. There are a number of merfolk. So there's a king, a merfolk knight, the mermaid princess, and then here a sea serpent a classic fantasy creature. A selkie, as we continue with our theme of having many fey creatures in our books. So a selkie is one of them. Undead pirates. We have an undead pirate captain, another fey creature, the wave rider, and then the wicked tuna. So now we come to the Arctic. Its titan is the Ragnar a CR-20 monster. And here it's chasing creatures, which we decided to put in the book as well. Our next wizard is actually a witch named Varga. And then we have the crystal spider, an ice dragon. We have a group of people called the Norvins who live in our world of Mir in the Arctic area, the Arctic region. That's their king. Here's the icebreaker. We have an undead mammoth. This creature, which some um, of the snow elves uh, ride on these creatures, use them as mounts, the uh, Nor Nordax. We also have more Norvins. So there's a shaman, there's a soldier. Here we have the Oslog I mentioned, which uh, that huge Titan was hunting. More fey creatures. Here's the people of the sky who actually appear as the Northern Lights at times. Here's an armored polar bear. 
the shapeshifter, which is actually an aberration that came through the portals into the Arctic. Here we have the Snogur, and now a few snow elves who are called the Vothdar. There's a blizzard wizard, a warlock snow elf, and their king, who's a very powerful CR 15 character. I should also point out there's a few inserts in the book about magic items. So there's a whole collection of magic items in here added as well. There's the Yarbeek, named after the Sea of Yar in our world of Mir. Now we come to the desert. The giant sand shark is the Titan. The, the wizard there is the Quar Yav, who's a gnome. The Apollorus is one of the desert creatures. The Arthrop is a race of uh, insect humanoids. Bakar Losian is a ranger who can guide the party through the desert. The Cactus Cursus and the Desert Naga are some of the creatures. Here we have the Dune Bug and the Dune Winder, which actually can rise up right out of the desert into the sky, arcing up into the sky to attack things. Here we have the giant trapdoor spider, the jaws of the desert, the jinnin, a, a group of people who live in the desert, as well as the sand strider, which a lot of the jinnin use as mounts. Here we have the scorpla, which is a giant undead scorpion, and the sun horse. And the last creature in the desert is the Weir Mere Cat, continuing our tradition of having one South African creature in every one of these books. Now we come to the jungle and swamp. The Titan is the Rissarav, the CR 23 monstrosity. The wizard is Merrick Blood Moon, an evil halfling wizard. And then we have another fey creature, the Bog Hopper, the Clone Shroom, the Crocodile Queen, which is sort of like a swamp witch. The Demon Turtle. Evil Neasel, the Swamp Weasel. A Frog Prince. A Giant Undead Crocodile. Marsh Hulk, the Marsh Hulk. As well as Murder Hornets. As this book is uh, published in the Pacific Northwest, um, You'll, you might have heard about the mur murder hornets that we have up here. All right, there's also the salamander. So this is another race of uh, salamander humanoids. There's their king, a shaman. And here we have the screech leeches. So not only do these creatures drain your blood, they also screech uh, with an, uh, an attack, a sound attack. And here's the swamp creature. So our next region is the forest region. The Titan is the Arborean, which is a CR20 monstrosity. The wizard featured is Roland Solosiant, one of the only non-evil wizards in this collection. He's a high elf. Then we get to the legendary Baba Yaga, as well as her hut, which is a construct. Here's the black stag and Briar Moon, another one of the Fae. A Creeping Shadow, strange undead creature. And these creatures don't have to just be used in their regions, you could use them many other places. The Dim Spriggan, another Fae. An undead creature called the Fawn of the Dead. Then the Gloom Owl, which just happens to be the mount for many of the Grim Squirrels. Then we have the Mothman, the legendary creature. The Fuka, another fae. The Pumpkin King. Three Skulls, which is an undead creature. Twiggy Stardust, as well as the Twisted Sisters. And then finally, the last creature in the forest is the Witch of the Nine. All right, now we get to the hills and lakes. The Titan is the Hakon, 
challenge rate and 22 monstrosity. The, the wizard is Jacob Latta, who is a necromancer, the only human wizard other than Oswald Mir that's in the book. Then we have the beast master, the demon goat, the gravit, another fae, the grim giant, as well as the hill hound. We have the hunter, which is a strange aberration that lives in the hills, as well as the jackalops, a cross between a jackalope and a cyclops. Then we get the Kelpie, the Knucker, kind of a dragon, the Odd Sod, very strange plant creature, as well as the Sinker. Here is a swarm of zombies, as well as the Trow, and a War Boar, so an armored boar. Our last region in the book is the mountain region. The Titan is the Vulcan, which is a challenge rating 24 monstrosity. The wizard associated with this region is Amar the Seer, and he is a dwarf wizard, a lawful good wizard. There's the Biclops, the Cliffhanger, the Deadly Path, the Fire Dancer, the Griffin, which completes the story we've had in a few books about a, a group of heroes, a faction of heroes fighting evil throughout the multiverse, and their leader is this creature, the Griffin. This is the Alliance of the Griffin. Then we have the Grim Rock, challenge rating 17, Undead Rock, and the Lava Dogs, a Rift Wraith, a stone shaper, and the very last monster type in this book is the thunder paw, a monstrosity. Now we have a list of all the creatures by challenge rating and by creature type. And at the very back, we have the family of Oswald Mir, as well as the wizard himself. So here is his stat block and some background on his family. Oswald is a 20th level wizard. His mother is included, who's a night hag, and his father, who is a lich, actually a lich king, is included as well. Now we also have two player subclasses. So there's the druid of the circle of the griffin, and we have the wild one ranger, and it's a ranger that doesn't use magic. Now we have a number of tables with events that could be happening in the wizard in the uh, in the wilderness. Could include a wizard. There's four of those tables. Then we have encounter tables for NPCs, locations tables for the wilderness, and finally a map of our world of Mir. And that is Monsters of the Wilderness: Oswald's Curse. Over 120 monsters for your game.